Hi, my name is Greta Bella Machina. I'm a poet, actress, and filmmaker. Um, and I've chosen Spring Summer 18, Simone Russia, and this dress is my favorite piece. Um, the reason why I chose this dress was because as soon as I saw it, I think I instantly felt that it held so much drama and melancholia, melancholy, and um, I just felt that there was something quite bewitching about it. I almost could feel its emotion. Um, I think what, what I'm most impressed with with Simone is how considered all of her pieces are. Um, as a young designer, you kind of, she has that beautiful ability to kind of transport you to somewhere else. I think you feel when you see her clothes, it's like you're entering a distant dream that you kind of think you had yourself, but you're not quite sure. You kind of feel you're going into a new world that kind of offers new hopes, new dreams, new ideas. Um, and for that split second, when you kind of close your eyes, um, it kind of takes you away from the horrors of the, the real world. Um, and I think good art in general has to kind of transport you somewhere. And I think Simone does that really well. Um, I, think, I think she said that this collection was inspired by those Chinese dolls you get, the China dolls you get as a, like as a child, which are dressed in Victorian clothing. Um, they have those porcelain faces and they're quite sinister. And she said she'd used to push them down the banister as a little girl and watch their faces smash open. And for me, I thought that statement was quite modern. I like the idea of her being inspired by something quite sinister and quite dark, that throughout time, women have had to kind of really struggle for what they believed in and disguise themselves in costume and clothing and not necessarily have the chance to talk about their stories and their pain. And I think hearing her say that, and especially today, because I think there's such a pressure to strive for perfectionism and, I don't know, this idea of paradise almost. I think to celebrate something dark and something broken is quite beautiful and it kind of makes you stop and think and, I don't know, I'm kind of obsessed with the brokenness of things in general. Um, I think that's where you find the magic. Um, another reason why I chose this look is because when I went to drama school, I went to RADA, the first time I went to the wardrobe cupboard was um, when I'd been cast as Thaisa in this play called Pericles, Prince of Tyre, which is this lost Shakespeare play. And the wardrobe woman put me in this dress and it kind of, I don't know, that excitement of being dressed for something and kind of being elevated into someone else. I think her clothes have the ability to do that. Um, I also have a real connection with just the Victoria era in general. Um, I grew up in Camden Town and I'd go to Camden Passage in my lunch break and just buy endless sort of like black chokers and black crosses and corsets. I had, at one point, I had a black velvet cape with gold lining, which I wore to school. Um, and yeah, I think when you modernize an era and you kind of take the lineage from the past and, and modernize it for women now, I think there's something quite brave, but also something quite strong about that. And for me, that's why I chose this Mo Russia piece as my favorite.